All right, what's up, guys? Another tutorial. Um, so one thing I wanted to uh, go over that I sort of mentioned last time was so remember I was I, I think I mentioned when you put your mouse close to the end, this red thing comes up, and you can drag, right? So click and drag. So that's if let's say I made a cut here right and I deleted that part of the clip right and I just wanted to bring it back I made a mistake and I decided oh I want it back you can just click here hold drag it back out right same thing with the other and if I just want to cut it down a little bit like that that way it's it's just another way instead of using the cut tool um, you just kind of manually drag how much of the clip you want um, yeah it makes more sense when you're doing it yourself um, okay so let's say Let's go over um, audio stuff very quickly, like the very simple audio things. So you right click, let's say you want to make the audio quieter, and you go to audio gain. Here, I'll do that again. Right click, and then you're getting all these options in here. You go audio gain, and then you're going to, so there's a couple ways to do it. You can put in a specific value, negative 10, right? So I'm making it quieter, or 10, which is just... Oh, sorry, I pressed enter. So that's just uh, if you want it louder. Um, and then you can set the gain to a specific value. This is just adjusting what it's at, right? So I'll move, I'll click. You can also click and hold like the other stuff, right? Click, hold, drag, right? So this is louder. This is quieter. Um, generally speaking, you want audio levels for your voice stuff. For me, at least, I don't know what the, uh, I'm sure there's more standards that I, I'm not super aware of, but uh, you want your audio level. So here in this box is your audio levels. You don't want it to peak, right? So it'll hit red and it'll peak up here. I usually try to keep it in here between 6 and 12, maybe. Um, and then music and other sound effects, I'll try to keep it between like 12 and 18, roughly. Those aren't like strict like whatever like guidelines those are just what I kind of use um, and I'll just listen to it myself just to see if you can hear whatever's going on right so let's just play this clip well, clearly it's super peaked right because that red went off so I'll set go to so right click audio gain and then put the audio down, right? So I'll click and hold and then drag it left. So let's go, I don't know, let's go negative 15 just because it was already on plus 10. So it's kind of in between the 6 and 12, so that's kind of what I want when it comes to audio. Um, the other option that you can use if you want to do speed stuff, so let's say I want to make this part of the clip a little faster, right? So I have to make a separate little clip here. So I cut there and I cut there just to make this part faster. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to speed duration. And then you can change the speed, right? So if I want it faster, you're going to go, if I want it two times faster, we'll go 200%. Right, so you'll see that clip gets half as big because it's faster, right? And then I'll click and hold and drag this closer so there's no gap between the clips. So, play. That's how, that's how the ching chong people talk. So, hopefully, you guys saw. I don't know if it lagged or anything, but this clip is playing twice as fast, right? Um, if I want to make it slower, what I'm going to have to do is make more space because if it's slower, this clip is going to be bigger, right? It's going to take up more space because it's slower. So I'm going to move this over, right click again, speed duration. Let's go to half as fast, right? So we'll go to 50% speed. And then again, you want to click this and drag it over so there's no space between the clips. And then it'll be slower now. So. That's, how, that's how the ching chong people talk. So that's how you play with the speed. Um, you can also reverse it and do things backwards if you want. 
So click right click speed duration and reverse speed, make things go backwards. Um, I don't really play with any of those, these other ones, but if you want it to go backwards, you can reverse speed. Um, let's just undo all of that. One of the effects that I use for like when I do the replays or whatever is I'll, I'll do the black and white thing. So in order to do that, this is your, your first effect thing, applying effects that I'm teaching you. So you go here in this box, the bottom left box where the media browser is and all this stuff. And we'll go here to this arrow and we're going to go to effects. So it's in this, this tab bar here, right? So to make things black and white, you're going to go to calculations. I don't know why it's called that, but that's the effect. So let's quickly make that clip again. Whoops. Click back on my timeline, make a little clip. We'll say from here to here. So this clip will make black and white. So you're going to click, hold, drag this effect and put it onto this clip, right? The other way to do it is have this clip selected and then just double click this, right? So it'll be on here and it's not going to be black and white yet because you have to manipulate some of the values. So hopefully it's on there since I double clicked it. Yep. So when you put the effect on, click the clip that you put the effect on and then go back up to here and go to your effect controls. Remember where all the motion, opacity, and all that stuff is. And what you'll see is there'll be a new thing here, right? So let's just, so if you want to delete it, you can just click this and delete it. Again, you click, hold, drag, put it onto this clip, and you'll see how this calculations pops up here, right? So to make it black and white, you're going to click this RGBA and just go gray. So that's how I do it. That's how I make my clips black and white. So now you can see this clip is all black and white, right? Um, how much time do we have? We're at seven minutes. Okay. Um, another thing that I think I should go over... Actually, I'll probably do it in the next one, but uh, next time I'll try to go over title cards because that's probably a big one, is you guys probably want to do title cards. But um, let's see, is there anything else today? No, I think that's good. A little bit of a shorter one this week, but um, I might do them even more frequently just because a week in between seems kind of long. But um, yeah, we'll do... Or maybe I'll just do title cards right after this one and have a separate video. But uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.